It's an exciting Congress. There are many people here. There's a lot of energy and enthusiasm and interest in the topics. So I This is a very important issue because in many cases women haven't been represented very well in terms of a lot of the research and women have essentially the same risk um, of heart problems as men except a little bit later in life. And so focus on women is very important. It's an excellent question and I'm not really sure why that has been the case. Um, I think there's been focus for women on other conditions as well, cancer and other problems, and I, I'm, I don't really understand why women haven't been represented in the clinical research as much. Most studies in heart conditions, uh, almost every study, uh, has about more like 80% men and about 20% women, so women just haven't been, we don't really understand the, the the reason for that, but it's very important because we don't know that women are going to respond the same way. And we know, in fact, uh, women do not respond the same way to many of the different medical therapies that men do. And that's important because the value of the therapy will vary uh, in some cases and be more important for women, and in some cases less important. I talked today about uh, the problem of uh, syncope or transient loss of consciousness. This is a very complicated and important issue because it's so common and so difficult to manage. Uh, almost every doctor and nurse that takes care of patients sees this problem and most of the time it is a challenge in terms of evaluation, and, and management, and, and people have significant, serious problems with passing out. Uh, and in many cases, they're treated the wrong way, or they're not treated at all, and they have continued problems. And in some cases, uh, that problem can be even a sudden cardiac death that can follow an episode of syncope. I think we are in a very challenging time right now that is related to the fact that uh, with diet and lack of exercise, people are developing problems with high blood pressure, with diabetes, with high cholesterol. And even though over the years um, people have been aging and living longer, now we have major challenges with obesity and problems with inactivity so that I think the risk of heart disease is, is going to go up even in younger people and this is going to lead to disability and it's going to be a tremendous problem and I think we can solve these problems with proper treatment and sometimes the treatment is not necessarily a medication sometimes it is but many times it's eating the right food doing the right type of exercise and living the right way and, and, and that way you can live a happier healthier life um, even if you don't live that much longer, which I think you would, but I, you, you live a better life um, and not have heart problems that develop from all of these conditions. The first thing I'd like to say is I congratulate all of the Romanian doctors who are engaged and interested in the problem of heart disease and treatment of heart disease since this is such a critical problem that has not been well addressed uh, in many different venues. This Congress is a very uh, good example of how doctors and nurses can get together and come up with proper treatment plans for patients and improve the quality of life. And I congratulate uh, the, the Romanian doctors who attend this Congress and are interested in really treating their patients the best way possible with the most uh, modern and uh, best science that is, is there and the best tools and medication that is available now.